All right, so far the auto boat working really good. I went about two miles down river, and now I'm battling my way back up. Oh, I shouldn't say battling because I'm not pedaling, but if I were on pedals, I'd be having a rough time right now. So I am on setting six or five or six, and I'm going 0.5 miles an hour. The dam is cruising right now. I tried out spot lock. Spot lock works just like it's supposed to. But it's going to, if you're heading down river and you hit spot lock, it's going to keep you facing down river. Um, if you're heading up river and you hit spot lock, it's going to spin you around because it's on the back on this one. You can put it on the front, but I don't have a front mount for it. And like I said before, I've proven that uh, stern mounts are faster than bow mounts. So. When I get up here, when I break free from this ripping part of the current, it's always really bad in this corner. I'm gonna check my battery, but um, I looked at it when I turned around about a mile that way, and it was at 95 still. So I'm kind of tacking my way back up river. There's quite a few fish down there. They they know what tomorrow is. They know tomorrow tomorrow is buffet day, so they're just getting in position. Um, a lot of fish down there, but like I said, the current's pretty ripping right now. I might throw the, uh, uh, I got the go fish camera with me. I might throw that out on the glide bait just to see what I can see, but uh, I'm going too fast to catch anything, even though it's only 0.4 miles an hour. Look at this pole. That, that's way too fast to troll. So I should just reel up. But there might be something out there that's really hungry, so I'm not gonna. But anyways, we're gonna we're gonna go up river a ways and uh, try some more. We'll do some uh, we'll do some maneuvering here in a bit. Alright, I just looked at my battery after battling most of the way through this current. And it's still at 95%. When I looked at it the first time, it must have been at like 98 but now it's at 95.6 and it's 8.18 so we'll see in a little while what it is but I was on setting it was six this that's one thing about this remote like the autopilot remote it told you what setting you were on and also told you how fast you were going but um, this isn't an autopilot um, this is about about three thousand dollars cheaper than an autopilot so, you know, it's working great. Um, it's got the, the PWM in that brain box, which is back there somewhere. Uh, it's a blue box. Black and blue box. Um, yeah. And it's just, I think it's actually doing better than the, uh, well, it's definitely going, it's pulling harder than the 45 would. But I think it's consuming less battery because I didn't have a PWM on the on the 45. So this thing's all right. So we're gonna we're gonna run up this bank. Look at this river. I saw one guy in a canoe down river, and somebody I just passed somebody in a kayak a little while ago. But there's nobody out here, you know, to speak of. Not, not many people. But I think, of, you know, I'm, I'm at one mile an hour now. Look at that pole. That is way too fast. But, um, you know, when I go one click down, yeah, it's not bad. It's still slowing down. But I think, uh, like I said, the worst part of the current is that corner. And it is ripping in that corner. There's all kinds of rip, rip currents and everything in there. But that's that's much better. And the camera's out there, so we'll see. We'll see what's down there. I had to put my um, my drive. It's not even in the high position, or it's well, the high position would be all the way up. It's halfway between all the way up and intermediate, just so I got like a dagger board sticking down there. Because in that current, 
this thing was all over the place. Well, not all over the place, but it was hard to, you know, keep it straight, which it always is in current. But I'm usually on the drive, so that's a dagger board right there. And I've got the bullnose rudder on back there, which is just, that's just, it's awesome. So we're going to come up here a ways and do a little maneuvering. Look. Here's the birdies chirping. Here, fishy, fishy. All right, so we're back, sort of kind of the, to the marina. And my battery is at 93.5. That is 156 amp hour ohm, but there's a link down there for it somewhere. OHMMU.com, 156 amp hour. It's just golden. The last thing you gotta worry about is your battery. I've went five miles, and half of it was on between setting five and setting six, coming back up river. Now I'm on like setting three, going a flat one mile an hour up against the current. So, and there's my pole bounce. A little bit of bounce, gotta have the bounce. And there's the fishies. That are going. I don't like that. So, I gotta watch my depth because there's a there's some shelves right here that stick out. There's one there, there's one there, and there's a big one up there. There's a little ditch you gotta know where it is, right by that buoy. That's a rock hazard. There's a little trench I run through right there. You gotta know where it is or you're gonna run aground lose a lure. Never run aground, but I have lost a lure. That's how I know it's there. But this thing is all right. I like this thing so far. It's doing exactly what I want it to do. All right, so then. There's the buoys. Right there and right there. So, I look like I'm better than two-thirds of the way across, right? Well, we're gonna hope we don't get stopped again. Because I am, um, I would guess that those buoys are one-third, two-thirds. I would guess that buoy right there. two-third mark. That's what it looks like to me. So I'm gonna go with that. So maybe uh, if they're gonna be so, you know, letter of the law, maybe they should put up, I don't know, signs? Something? Somewhere? Because there are none. Anywhere. So. All right, there it is again. Okay, there's the bank. Nevada, Arizona. I would say way further than two thirds way across. So I'm thinking I'm legal. I'm about as shallow as I can get. So, anyways, let's go. We're gonna go up here north, and do some maneuvering. Help this guy slows down. He's coming flying up behind me. Kind of has to. All right, now we're gonna give her a little bit of power. I'm on setting three right now. 1.3 miles an hour upriver. One thing you really don't want to do, you don't want to mash this turn button when you're going that fast, because 
It will tip. <laughs> I'm not, I don't think it tip over, but it's going to try and throw you out. So that's nine. There's Max. Maxed out. And now. All right. Now I got to catch the pedals. Like I said, that current is ripping. There's four miles an hour. Four point one. Three point seven to four point one miles an hour with the pedals. Adding the pedals to it. So probably should have looked at the meter before I kicked her off, but I didn't. We'll, we'll check it here. I'll check it here again in a little bit. I'm not even worried about it, but I just want to see the, uh, the rates of consumption that it does. You know, okay, well, we're going to go like a half mile like that. And I'm going to do some maneuvering up there. Like the maneuvering. I'm in here. I'm not fishing because there's the dock. Um, we're going to slow her down a little bit. That's a 360 right there. <laughs> That's pretty freaking awesome. You want to go the other way, you say? Let's go the other way. Want to go faster? Do that too. You like this spot? Let's stay here for a while. Let's see what the motor does. There you go. Spot lock right there. All right, let's get out of here. Turn your spot lock off. See, this one, like the, unlike the autopilot, it doesn't go back to the previous setting. It stays right where the last setting is. Alright, let's go. Gotta get out of here because I don't want to tempt somebody to come and harass me. Here we go. We're gonna go try and find the fish now. Alright, I'm on on my glide and I got lines tangled all around me. Boy, I don't know how this is going to work out. I'm sure it's not going to be pretty. He doesn't feel very big. He gave up pretty quick. Sometimes the big ones do give up pretty quick. Where are you? 
It's all right. Not double digit. There. there he is. There she is. I'll say eight, maybe. But we'll get a definite weight on her. She ain't small. She's all full. Full belly. I'm gonna call that ten and a half pounds. Double digit. I didn't think it was, but it is. Awesome. A couple things have never happened. I've never successfully landed a fish on this river. Well, no, that's not true. That's the second time I've landed a fish on the river with two lines out. That was once I actually landed. I had two fish on at the same time, and I landed both of them in the autopilot. But I just mashed spot lock, and it held me straight because the motor was center mounting in that. This is a rear mount, so that did not so much work. But that was a ten and a half pound fish. And we're gonna get right back after it. Here we go. That right there is my diving buddy, Ken, that pulled this lure that I just caught that ten and a half pounder on. Pulled it out of the bottom of the river after it sat there for a month. So, and he doesn't normally, um, he, he will never ask you for money if he retrieves something yours but he handed me that glide and a go fish camera and i just handed him a hundred dollars and said have a nice day because i thought that was pretty cool but uh i got a boat coming right after so i gotta figure out what i'm gonna do here hold on i'll be back i just remembered why i like to be off the water by 10. that's when most of the kayak tours start easier for me or anybody that's fishing to not be on the river when they're out because they have absolutely no idea what they're doing. Uh, I mean there was like 10 of them, more than that, like 20 of them and they just, they didn't know to split around me or nothing, they're just coming right straight at me and you can see that I'm trolling but the guy that's leading them didn't say anything so I just reeled up and got my lines all tangled up. I'm heading for the dock. So, at the end of this, there's going to be a that preview of the 1400 subscriber giveaway, which we're closing in on. Uh, like, we're like 35, 40 or 35 away from something like that. So, go ahead and check out the Amazon links down there. There's all kinds of good stuff. Um, like and subscribe if you would. Get us to 1400. Take home a big old box of stuff. Water. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Oh, if you're thinking about the auto boat, there's a link for it down there somewhere in the description. Probably. It's uh I can't remember what the website is. It's not autoboat.com though, but if you YouTube autoboat, you'll see this video. You'll see the one of me where I put it together on this big rig. And uh, there's a lot of them that have the direct link to the to the website go ahead and check that out it's uh i mean like when i said that this was like three thousand dollars cheaper than an autopilot i got with the boat included especially if you plug gull lake marine in uh, grand rapids michigan you get a discontinued uh, hd fd big rig and you're going to save about a thousand dollars off on that so yeah I still got two of them left. I just talked to them a couple days ago. We've got two big rig HDFDs. And I put the, the Mark IV drive in this one. So, and it's just ridiculously fast with the Mark IV drive. 12 to 1. 12 to 1 and 10 to 1 is a world of difference. And this is a 12 to 1. And they really figured it out. So, anyways. Uh, yeah, it's, I go back to work Friday night, I think. Friday night. So, this is going to be it for a while. So, yeah. Thanks again. Like, subscribe, give a share, and I'll see you on the water. Have a great day. All right, so one more clip before the um, 1400 subscriber giveaway preview. 10 miles, 85.3 on the meter. That's 156 OMO right there. And this is just super cool. Okay, the motor 
and the battery and the brain box are behind the cart, of course. Okay. Hold on, there we go. This is how much you're lifting. Thirty-six pounds, and it doesn't even feel that because it's. I mean, that doesn't feel like thirty-six pounds to me. And when it goes over center, it gets really light. So I'll do that again because that doesn't seem right. Huh? Thirty-three pounds. I don't think it was that much. That's not bad. It's really easy to roll up. I just drag it up that ramp and the jeeps over there all right that's gonna do it next one's gonna be the uh, preview of the 1400 subscriber giveaway all right so one more clip before the 1400 subscriber giveaway which is sitting right there all right uh, if you're using the auto boat on a stern mount like I am uh, best thing to do that I would recommend that I should have done as soon as you hook a big fish turn the motor off because it swung me around quick, fast, and in a hurry. Because as soon as that nose went that way, the motor was shoving me and it just swung me right around. So, turn the motor off, let it swing you around, turn the motor back on, mash spot lock, and it'll hold you. But that was, that was a learning experience. Pretty surprised I didn't lose a fish, but uh, I didn't, I landed at 10 and a half pounds. Uh, There's the website, www.autoboat.store. That's it, right there. Okay, that's it. Next is, I'm gonna break this down for you guys. So, nice little dude over there, or over there. Lower, uh, lower right hand of your screen is a little dude floating around a kayak. It's actually a picture of me and my Predator years ago. Um, thanks for watching, see you on the water. All right, as promised, here is the 1400 subscriber giveaway. That, that, it's an eight pound Beyond Braid. Uh, how much? I think it's 300 yards, 200 yards, 300 yards, 300 yards, eight pound Beyond Braid. One of those, some froggies. With a Ned head in it. That. Oh, a buff. Monster bass buff. Drop shad. Big bite baits. Finesse craw. One for hunt finesse craw. Another frog. Razor shad. Another frog. Hooks. Top water. That guy. Some of those. That guy. That's pretty cool. Finesse worm. Another one of those guys. That guy. Those. I don't know what that even is. Yeah, it's on the ground. Hi. That guy. That's my camera. More frogs. Bite baits. These are good. That guy. More hooks. What do we got here? Oh, that's cool. Excuse me. And. Jeez, sneezing fit. And this guy. So there you go. 
That is a pile of stuff right there. So you guys know how to get us there. Match that dude over there in the kayak. We'll go live at 1400. So thanks for watching. Good luck. Give it a share and I'll see you on the water. Thanks for watching.